What's up guys, this is Core with Sledders Mods once again bringing you a tutorial video. I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install the new race timer mod that I've developed. Before we get into this, I would just like to say that I do make all these mods for free for the community and for everyone to enjoy. But if you do feel like supporting me, there is a donation link on the homepage of the Sledders Mods website. Uh, it is not for me personally, it is for development and improvement of Sledders Mods and our development. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I will not be showing how to install Melon Loader or the mod itself in this video. It's the exact same process as the previous video where I showed how to install the Sled Tuner mod. All you got to do is take the DLL file and the race timer folder, drop them into your mods folder, which is found in your Steam, Steam apps, common sledders. Uh, after you install melon loader, you will find a mods folder. Just drop those two in there, race timer and race timer, and you're good to go from there. Now somewhere in your download zip, you will find a example.json. So you can go ahead and open that in your preferred note editor. Uh, I prefer notepad plus plus. If you don't have it, I would suggest it just so you can see things a little bit more clearly than trying to edit in notepad. So anyways, in here, you will find a bunch of options. Uh, debug mode by default in here will be set to true because most of the time on first time setup, you will want that on. Uh, if you want to go ahead and change the color that you think you would want your checkpoints to be, you can go ahead and do that now. Uh, these colors do range from 0 to 1.0. They do not go to 100 or 255. So if you want to make it red instead of green, you would set this to 1.0 and set green to 0. That's going to make a red sphere for each checkpoint with a 25% opacity. The opacity currently is duplicated here and here. That will be fixed very soon. Uh, disregard that. So once you've gone ahead and set everything up here, go ahead and select all and copy. You can do that the traditional way, however you know how to do it. Copy, control C, whatever works for you. So we're gonna go back to our mods folder, the race timer folder and you're going to see three files in here. So Idaho is the hills map, side cliffs is the mountains map, and you're never gonna guess woodland is the woodlands map. For today's example, we're gonna be working with Idaho. So we're gonna open that up. You're gonna see a bunch of stuff in here by default. It's just a predefined course that I have made uh, so you can see what the script is capable of. Uh, so just go ahead and select all, and we're going to paste. That's going to overwrite everything. Uh, from here, make sure you save the file, and you don't need to do anything else. Go ahead and go back into your game. We're going to open it up, like single player, and we are going to be going to the hills map for today's tutorial. All right, so once you are in here, I'm just going to set my camera to the far out view, uh, just so we can see things a little bit more clearly of what's going on. This is up to you, however you want to do it. There's nothing too complicated about this whole setup. Uh, so every time at this point that you press the insert key on your keyboard, it will place a checkpoint. So you have to be very careful with this. If you accidentally press it twice, for example, you're either going to have to go through and find that duplicated one in the file and remove it, or you're going to have to start all over if you don't feel comfortable doing that. So with that said, we're just going to go ahead and drive a little bit forward here. And you don't have to stop to do this, although it can be a little bit tricky um, using a keyboard, reaching up and pressing the key, uh, or using a mouse and reaching up and pressing the keyboard. Uh, I plan on adding a controller input uh, somewhere down the road. We're going to go ahead and start our race course here. So I'm going to press the insert key. That's going to place our first checkpoint. That's also going to act as the starting line. That's all automated. 
you don't have to do anything with that. That is now the starting line. So we're going to drive a little bit more forward here. And let's say we want checkpoint right here. I'm just going to press insert. And let's go off to the right a little bit. So we want to get them between these trees. Go up the hill a little bit. I can't see. So let's say we want a checkpoint down here. And this. And then, just to make everything a little bit short and simple, we're going to have our finish line right there. So, the last checkpoint that you place will automatically be set as the course finish line. If you go ahead and, right now, open the notepad back up. If you're using Notepad++, you're going to get prompted. It's going to say that the file has been modified. Uh, just click yes to refresh it and once it refreshes you will see it has added all of the checkpoints in automatically if you have a specific checkpoint that you would like to make a larger radius or let's say you have to fine tune it um, whatever you need to do you can always go back uh, into the race so the start line checkpoint is checkpoint zero and this is also checkpoint zero. So it goes in order from top to bottom. So a zero, one, two, three, and four, right? So from here, the very next thing that we need to do now that we're done making our course is turn debug mode off. So we'll change that to false and make sure we save the file. Now that we've saved the file, we're gonna go ahead and exit back to the main menu, load into single player, load back into hills and click start all right so now that we're back in you can go ahead and see that straight ahead we have our first race course marker we're going to go ahead and head that way and make sure everything is working properly so we've entered this you see a timer has started at the top and we'll hit our second checkpoint here so technically that was checkpoint one because the checkpoint the start line is zero so that would be checkpoint two. And that's what I was talking about with the radius thing. So that was two, this will be checkpoint three. Excuse my bad driving right now, I don't ever drive a uh, third person. And checkpoint four will be the finish line. So one issue currently, if you notice, the time uh, disappeared. It didn't tell me a final time. So for now, uh, then this will definitely be patched in the future. All you have to do is open up your melon loader console and you'll find your time printed here. So in the future, I will definitely be adding an update that prompts your finish time for a certain duration, maybe 10 seconds or so. Uh, but for now, you gotta open a console and do it that way. I believe that's pretty much it for all you need to know about setting up a race course in Sledders. Anything more advanced, you are more than welcome to ask on the Slitters Mods forums or in the Slitters Mods Discord itself, and I'll be happy to help. And with that said, hope you all have a good day and enjoy.